Hello, uh, I'm making today a soap centered in monkey farts fragrance oil from Aroma. This, um, this is a citrus blend with bubble gum and banana. So really popular fragrance oil with kids. Uh, I've already added my lye solution and my milk to my oils, fat and butter. Uh, I've blended this for um, a total of about 10 seconds because I really don't want it setting up too quickly. My fragrance oil's already in. So I'm going to be making this soap, uh, mainly purple, but with all the other colours of the rainbow dropped in. So I'm going to be using neon colours today. So nice bright kids soap. It's probably going to set up quite quickly. So I've got neon orange from Bath Bomb World. I'm hoping about a teaspoon will be enough of each colour and the base of my soap is going to be purple I'll put those over there for a tick so I've got um, Eminence Mica from my micro obsession but I haven't got a lot left so I'm going to drop that in and then add my neon purple Now I'm going to blend these up, starting with the lightest colour. I'll grab my mould. I'll pour all of the purple in. Gorgeous colour. Now because this is already set up quite quickly, I will be pouring from up high and it's going to be more of a plop swirl than a drop swirl. Might have been better to do an in the pot swirl, I think. And I won't. It's still going to be beautiful. Green. And I'll go through and put a swirl through this as well, just to try and bring the colours together. I think it is in there. I feel like I'm dolping mashed potatoes on the dinner plate. Do you do that? My kids laugh at me the way I dish up mashed potatoes. Pick it up with a spoon and slap it on their dinner plate. Whatever it is, it's going to look nice. Neons always come out looking pretty cool. No matter what pattern. And the yellow, which is really set up quite nicely there.
Okay. All the colours are in. Very abstract kindergarten art style. Done on purpose, of course. <laughs> Can't say that, don't I? And I might even use the stick of my spatula. And then I'm going to give this the biggest bang on the ground. So I'll do that and I shall be right back. There we go. Not too bad. Abstract masterpiece there. And I think, I think I'll finish it off with some glitter actually. I think that would top that off nicely. And inside there, even though that accelerated so fast, that is still going to be a beautiful soap on the inside. So let's see what have I got. We'll do Rainbow Dreams from my micro obsession in a salt shaker. I won't do anything else to the top because it will just um, make it muddy if I fiddle around with the top. So I'd rather those colours were still quite separate. So this is cosmetic glitter intended for use in bath bombs and soap. And it will just wash off fairly quickly. There we go. Uh, there we go. Hope you can see that. I think that's going to be quite a nice soap tomorrow. So, thanks for joining me, and um, we'll see you tomorrow when we cut it. Right, hey. Back to cut the monkey fart soap. So this is the top. I've already split my slab into loaves. Look how cool that side is. How cool. I love it. <laughs> I'll just line it up here. Glare bubble there. I think that's quite to be expected with how thick everything was. But see, even with a really accelerated batter, you still get really pretty soap out. So I'm very happy with the outcome. I think that's really pretty. So thanks again for joining me and I will see you on the next video.